Hi everybody, Jordan Steele 88 with another video. Tell this video, Steelers versus Bills. Game recap, so let's get into it. So the Steelers had a disappointing end to the season, losing to the Buffalo Bills 31-17. Early in the game, the Bills, like, well, Josh Allen, man, wrecked the fucking game early in the game. I mean, on the first couple possessions, they scored like 14 points on points on our possessions, but overall on the offense, they scored 14 points off turnovers. Because that one turnover was, was George Pickers fumbled, which is real incomplete, got overturned to a fumble and then recovered by Buffalo. They went to score off of that. We threw a um, red zone interception. They scored off of that with Josh Allen, Josh Allen's um, like 50 yard touchdown run or something like that. Well, in the first quarter, the team just got outplayed. They got totally outplayed in that game. Totally outplayed. Just totally outplayed in that game. I mean, going into halftime, they made it interesting. They blocked the field goal and then got a score off of that going into halftime. In the second half, looked like they still still going to start out well and get back in this ball game. And they got they, they started to get closer, though, getting, getting a field goal and a touchdown. The last touchdown was by CA3, Calvin Austin the third, And that was about it. And the Bills, they, they extended their, their lead. We got went within a touchdown one time, and then and then um, Bills, uh, Michael Fitzpatrick's missed tackle. Whoever that guy is, I forgot from Buffalo. He um shake away Michael Fitzpatrick, and then scored a touchdown, and then extended the lead, and now, and that's all she wrote. From there, I mean, the Bills they just outplayed us very early in the game. They hold, they had the lead, and they never lost the lead in that game. I mean, we got, to, we got, I mean, they made things, I mean, it still has made things interesting throughout the quarter, I mean, throughout the game, excuse me, well, throughout the second half, excuse me, but it's just the Bills are too much. It's just too much we had to overcome. I mean, you could say uh, we don't have T.J. Watt in there, but hey, that's your opinion. It's just that, it's just that overall, they just got outplayed, totally outplayed in that game. We just got totally outplayed. Just a disappointing end. Yeah, because for the Steelers, man, this is a four straight time that we went one and done in the playoffs. Four straight time. 2017, 2020, 2021, now this year. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous that the playoff streak, streak um, well, um, this streak has been going crazy, man. Going on like eight years since we have, since we have won a playoff game. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's just absolutely asinine. So I mean I mean offensively, like I said before, I don't I don't know if I say this, but we just got off to a slow start and that that, that, that um dictates what Buffalo Bills was doing early in the game. Just disappointing. Straight up disappointing for the Pittsburgh Steelers team in the playoffs. To lay an egg. So, yeah. So it just got outplayed early in the game. Bills never lost the lead. And they got 14 points off turnovers. Josh Allen, man, he wrecked the fucking game. He went 21 to 30, 203 yards and three touchdowns. Those first two touchdowns were to tight ends. Some of the Steelers had trouble all these years doing is covering tight ends. They had trouble doing stuff like that. Just great. Just ridiculous. James Cook is okay. He had 18 carries, 79 yards. So, and and we got, and on that field, in that high bar stand, we got players getting hurt. Not just for the Steelers, but the Bills too. They were getting hurt like almost left and right. Some had stayed out of the game and some have returned. Just crazy. It's crazy how the um how we got pushed back for this for to tonight instead of yesterday. How insane is that? And defense just couldn't tackle. Well, just couldn't tackle, man. Yeah. So, like I said, we just got out late early in this game. So, so that'll be all. Why I gotta say this video. Hey, 
Bills fans, congratulations on y'all win. Y'all got a hell of a team. Y'all moving on to face the um, Kansas City Chiefs. So congratulations on y'all win. And Steeler fans, man, this is disappointing. We got to worry about the combine, the draft, and, I mean, free agency, and the draft. I'm pretty sure Omar Khan got, got, got this whole thing down for him and Andy Waddle if Andy Waddle stays with the Steelers. So, yeah. And a lot of people say, I'm sleeping on Corey Trice, though. I think he'll be, be, be a pretty good corner. I think he'd be a pretty good corner, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, and I'm going to say this over and over when I'm going to do this video. Steelers need to beef up the offensive line. The offensive line needs to be beefed up. They just got to beef up the offensive line. Get a right tackle, move Roddy Jones back to his natural position, his left tackle position, and move and get a center in the draft. They have to get a center in the draft because Mason Cole's been a disappointment all season. So, yeah, man. I'm more worried about the offensive line than I'm with the defensive line. I don't care if he was going through his options, whether he's going to come back next year or retire. So, So yeah, still a nation. This is a disappointing end to the to the season. So yeah, man, this it sucks. So yeah. So let me know what you think down in the comment section down below about this horrible horrible exit out of the playoffs. It is a disappointing end to the season. So and other than that, man, that's all for this video. And then still, the last deal is. Game recap of the 2023 season. So, yeah. So, this is George Steele 88. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content, other sports content on my channel. See you guys in the next video. And as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Just a disappointing end of the season.